She may be only five, but little Sylvie Beckers has already made a scientific breakthrough. It happened while she was gardening with her mom at their Kentucky home. I let her water the flower bed, and she watered and watered and watered, and when that happened, the soil flooded with water, and there were all these tree hoppers that were bright green, um, so they really contrasted with the soil. They floated to the top, and that's when I saw them, and I went, oh, that's weird. Uh, tree hoppers belong on trees. Laura Sullivan Beckers is an assistant professor of biology at Murray State University. A self-proclaimed lover of bugs, she decided to look into the ground-dwelling tree hoppers further. I knew they were out of place, and so we started doing some investigation and found a whole bunch of tree hoppers, and one of them was a new species. The mom and daughter science duo discovered a new species right in their own backyard. They don't know much about these bugs because the only ones they've been able to find so far were dead. So the, the wasps would go up into, I think, an oak tree that was really close by um, and grab the tree hoppers, sting them, and then bury them in the soil for their offspring to feed on. And so that's really, that's all I know is that they're, they are prey species for this uh, wasp. And for their discovery, they got to name the new bug. As a nod to Sylvie, the budding scientist, it's been named Habetica Sylviae. The family hopes stories like theirs will inspire others to do some exploring of their own. Well, I, I hope the discovery encourages other people to, uh, to get outside and look around. There's, there's biodiversity in your own backyard. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.